All right, switching gears. And shares of Hewlett Packard Enterprise are in focus after reporting earnings and meeting estimates on the bottom line while topping revenue expectations. The company did lower its full year earnings per share outlook as they now see profits of $1.96 a share to 204, down from a previous range of about 196 to 210. All right, this is uh, you know this quarter I think stands in stark contrast to what we saw over at HP. It doesn't make HP's quarter you know a total bad thing. It just means HPE, which focuses on software, while HP focuses on printers and computers. HPE just a little bit better. They talked about in the call last night strong backlog, uh, another uh, key win for them. Looks like they're gaining market share from key customers. Margins were up. So all things considered, a pretty good quarter from HPE. Yeah, they reiterated some of their fiscal 2022 revenue growth. So that is a good thing for them to kind of maintain or lock in as of this point in time. Three to four percent is what they're looking for. Uh, and then additionally here, you think about how the company and the executives are really looking across the environment right now at some of the solutions that specifically on the software solutions that they're looking to give to customers and on the user base that they currently have. Uh, Antonio Neri, who, you know, I, I think we We've had conversations here uh, with before here. I know I have in uh, past life as well, but their customers, they're continuing to prioritize investments in IT. And I think as you think across the data center, the different applications that companies are using, yes, they have to prioritize those things and especially in a hybrid work model and after you've made so many investments into the data center, that's potentially where there is that opportunity to th for growth or at least for maintaining their targets for the course of this year as well. Yeah, and part of their outlook, uh, free cash flow guidance, uh, expected to be in the range of 1.7 to 1.9 billion for the balance year. That's really good in an environment where a lot of companies are seeing Falling free cash flow, that is a good thing to see. I'm still getting used to, Brad, seeing, and we'll talk to Antonio Neri in the 3 p.m. hour, I, yes. I should mention. It's still weird for me to see their press release uh, note they are in Houston, Texas, no longer in Silicon Valley. So mm. that new headquarters for them is in Houston, Texas. Still getting used to that a little bit. Tax-free. Tax-free. <laughs>